Hey YouTube, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy here, and it is late at night. You can see the darkness outside my window. And uh, I spent today um, doing some shining on a pair of uh, new Adelaides. Um, this is a uh, pair from Carmina, as you can see on the shoe tree, um, and the sole, in case you don't trust me. Uh, now, um, what I wanna do today, um, I got a comment in my unboxing of this, asking for a comparison on how this is compared to a uh, TLB uh, Mallorca Adelaide. And so I brought out one of my TLB um, shoes. This is the uh, Mallorca Artista level. So it's their top of the line uh, in their ready to wear line. And um, this is uh, made in Vigano calf uh, versus Vitello calf. So there's some differences there, but uh, you can get this in their MTO program at TLB as well, so you do have some options. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit today about what's similar uh, between them and a little bit about what's different so that you can uh, decide for yourself which one you think is better. Uh, so we're going to call this a shoe battle, and it's going to be the shoe battle of the Spanish Adelaides, and it's going to be Carmina versus TLB. Now, first things first, you can look right off the bat and you can see that there's a difference. Okay, this is on the Picasso last, a TLB, and this is the Simpson last, Carmina. And so you'll see that there's a difference. This one has a wider um, square. They're both chiseled lasts, but this one is wider at the toe. This one is narrower at the toe. Uh, if you look at it from this profile, you'll see this has much higher ridges on it. And the um, Simpson last is more rounded and less squared off on the sides. Now I happen to like the square up on the sides, so that is going to be a uh, fairly substantive difference uh, for me. Now, if we look at the, uh, um, the actual U-throat, and it's easier to see on the Carmina because it's a different shape of leather or a different piece of leather and different color, but you can see that the, the um, Adelaide on the, well, I, I can't remember, it's gonna mirror here, so I'm gonna say the left, but this side here, um, that is actually wider along the bottom of the U, okay? Now the Carmina also has a lip up here that's totally different. This is the 80610 um, type. And so this has this rounded edge here where the TLB is a, goes right up into the U. So it's wider here and then up here, just go, there's no little area of this leather um, that comes out there. Now, uh, this also has a rounded heel cap, where this one has a peak on the heel cap. Um, so that's a difference as well. Um, now I uh, take this in a size smaller, or a size larger. So this is a 10 and a half, and this is a 10. Uh, but if you look at where they are, you can see that difference. And that's probably because the toe on this is narrower and my foot is very close to uh, being wide. So um, just a, a very small difference, but something that you should be aware of as well. Um, and, and that's part of how you do it. Now let's talk about linings. Uh, the lining outside the TLB, this is uh, made with calfskin, very, very soft, beautiful calfskin, but it is calfskin where on the, uh, on this, I actually chose to have it in kid leather, which is goat, um, baby goat. And uh, that is uh, something that uh, Carmina does and offers, but I have not seen that as an option on the uh, TLB site. So uh, you look at the soles. Um, soles are uh, both uh, blind stitched. Um, the Carmina puts a row of nails in at the top. Um, Carmina also put my initials on the bottom, but I paid for that. That was an option. Um, and I believe it's an option on the MTO for um, TLB as well. Uh, TLB's uh, Picasso has a very signature narrow waist uh, and a fiddle back, which the Carmina does not. Uh, the Carmina is a little beveled, um, but I'm going to say that that's not even really beveled. So um, now if you look at the nail patterns in the sole, Carmina has more nails. Uh, I don't know that that is a huge difference because I've never had a problem with the TLB nails, but that is another uh, difference as well. Uh, also a larger heel, right? So a little bit wider, not much, but a little bit. Um, so those are, those are some of the differences. Now, Carmina has a medallion, okay, which I chose. You can choose from about seven or eight medallions. Um, Carmi uh, TLB does not, but this is a ready to wear version, not an MTO version. 
pretty sure you could choose a medallion if that's what you desire. Um, so uh, I also have a uh, contrasting leather here on the vamp, uh, which is also something that you can do um, on TLB custom if that's what you'd like to do. So um, so those are those are some of the, the differences there. Now let's take a look at some of the quality indicators. Take a look here at the fudging on the TLB. Um, just beautiful fudging, very long. Uh, the outside of the sole is perfectly smooth, um, really reminiscent of handwork, hand smoothing, versus uh, you know the uh, when you're using a Goodyear welting machine, which Carmina does, um, there is an attachment for it that allows you to have this nice little groove going around the outside. Now that is beautiful finish work. Uh, it's done really well. You can look, there is uh, beautiful fudging here on this um, as well. So it takes a while to get into focus. Um, when I get a new camera, that will hopefully address some of that. Now, the fudging on the Carmina, I'm going to say is not as high quality as it is on the TLB. The TLB fudging goes all the way to the laces and is pretty much in, in, in par with the laces. So it's very, very difficult to find the laces. Um, on the Carmina, if you know what you're looking for, it's easy to find. Uh, Carmina has JR soles. Um, which is an option, but that I chose, um, the, uh, the TLB does not. So, although, again, I've got really good soles and a very, very cool waist with the fiddle back, which uh, that is not an option on the, on the Carmina. So, um, so from that perspective, it's uh, pretty, pretty similar. I'm looking at stitch density. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks to me like the TLB may have Carmina beat very slightly but it looks like the stitches are just wider on the carmina so i'm gonna have to give tlb that um now let's talk a little bit about price uh carmina shoes are going to run about 475 in us um and the uh tlb um artista is going to run about 400 uh, so there is an not an insignificant difference in price but it's not a giant price difference either it's not like one is a thousand bucks and one's 500 but um you know, for pound for pound, your your rate for your money, uh, I would definitely look at uh, TLB. Uh, if you are in the MTO, there's about a 30% upcharge on each of them, although Carmina has been running a few weekend specials where they waive that, uh, that custom charge. Uh, they've also included some free trees here and there. Uh, after a while, you know, you start looking at the $120 that the custom fee is and the 70 bucks for shoe trees, you're saving $200. Um, you're getting into Carminas for a great price. Um, I don't expect Carmina to continue doing that indefinitely, but uh, when it happens, it's a great sale and uh, definitely something that's worthwhile. Uh, you know, TLB uses very similar um, shoe trees using Beechwood um, that Carmina does. And, uh, you know, I think they're worth uh, the, uh, the 70, 80 bucks that they charge for. So uh, that's it. Um, so look, uh, there's a lot of really good quality differences between the two. When it comes to options, uh, there is no comparison. Carmina on their customizer shop uh, gives you 35, 40 different choices of leathers, maybe more when you add in all of the exotics. So I, I, I've got to give that to Carmina. There's just no comparison at all. Now, you want crocodile shoes at Carmina or you, alligator shoes at Carmina, you're spending 3,900 bucks. So that is not an insignificant investment, uh, but you get what you pay for and they're very, very good at it. Uh, Carmina also has six, seven shades of shell cordovan, uh, which um, TLB has none. So if that's a, uh, that's a leather type that you're into, as I'm into, uh, that makes a huge difference and definitely something that you should consider when making a choice between the two brands. Uh, you know, they're both in Spain, they're both on Mallorca. Um, so definitely, um, uh, you know, steeped in shoemaking tradition. They're both very, very good. Um, TLB, as I understand it, has a, has a bespoke program um, that's very well known. And they started getting into ready to wear, where Carmina is a sizable shop that, uh, you know, has six stores in Spain and, and one in the, U in the U.S. So um, they're definitely growing. Um, and, uh, but they're, they're looking at large numbers where TLB is definitely on the um, larger side of the gig economy kind of, kind of thing. So, so you know, lots of choices. Um, definitely uh, from a value proposition, your best value is to get into TLB uh, from a long-term collecting standpoint. Um, if you only wanted to stick with one brand, 
Carmina is definitely where it's at. They just have a much bigger selection. They have a much bigger selection of shoes, um, that bigger selection of lasts, and a, um, a great selection of leathers. So literally millions of possibilities on what you could build on that customizer. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.